to live our life in this natural world. Let's unlock the door and come out into all the sounds and stuff. Then we'll come out of a little bit of darkness into a, to a little bit more illumination like it is right now. The nocturnal things illuminated by the, the light reflected by the moon. You can see a little bit, but you still get tripped up a lot. If you try to run or walk out here, you're going to miss a lot of holes, lots of, a lot of ruts in your life. They're going to mess you up. But keep going, keep going, keep agreeing with God, keep living, keep existing, existing, existing. See? And you'll come up into like, it's out in the distance, those stars. It's really hot, really um, bright next to those stars, in those stars. You'll become a star yourself, living, be like living in the daytime. Not just being nocturnal out here, living by the either no light at all or coming into a light reflected from a star like our sun off this moon out here. And you're still tripping up a lot till you come out into the daytime. Well, you might trip a little bit, but at least you can see it coming. Okay? Keep loving like this little kitty's loving on me right now. Okay, come out and keep going, keep existing, agreeing in God, and the day star will arise in your heart, in your mind, in those thought processes, each one of them. You come out of this stranger way, which is like the ignorance, the dark way, to this, uh, up into this acquaintance, to the friend, all these realms, like living in this nocturnal state of being. Where there's a little bit of light reflected from the sun, from like the sun of God, from the Christ in you. But you still can't see quite clearly. See, there's a lot of spots like over in there that you can't see at all. It's pretty dark. Okay? You can, get, you can step in all kinds of holes or off a cliff. But you come out into the daytime, you keep going, and you can see clearly so you can avoid the pitfalls. The snares, like the snare of the fowler, okay? You come into these, um, this time in your life when you can enjoy God. Huh? You're coming in and marrying God, okay? You're coming out from being separated in darkness, in your own carnality, your ignorance, okay? Coming into righteousness, to the right-mindedness of God, where you can see clearly, then you just have to walk, live, obey God. Yes, sir, Daddy. Yes, sir. As quickly as possible. Just like Jesus' name means, right? I E S O U S. Jesus. It's not Jehovah, Jehovah. It's Yahweh, Y H W H. Without delay, without elongation. Well, just right now. Yes, Daddy. What do you want? And you can hear Him. You can see. What God wants in the daytime a lot clearer. You know what what pitfalls to avoid. If you if you go and walk right off a cliff in the daytime, you're going to reap what you sow. You're going to fall off a cliff. At nighttime, you walk off the cliff. You just didn't know. You were ignorant, huh? If you walk off a cliff with this moonlight out here, the reflection off of the moon out here. Uh, you just not seeing it clearly. You think you know, but you really don't know. Because why would you step off that cliff or into that hole, break your leg, or fall into a big rut, keep doing things over and over and over the same way, and expecting a different result? And it's just getting, you just like shooting yourself in the foot. Oh, I think I'll shoot it a different way. And see how that works. Pow! Oh, that hurts just about as bad. Pow! I shot my foot this way. Well, I'll turn it again this way. Boom! I shot myself right in the head. You dummy, you quit shooting yourself. Okay, quit walking off this cliff. Quit walking in all these pitfalls. 
okay? So in each thought process, we got to obey God continually, habitually. Whatever things you see in me, read, study. Philippians chapter 4, verse 9, when it says, Do all these things, do them. That's, saying, that's from the Koine Greek word, the ancient word that's extinct. It's speaking of a picture. It, it means to habitually practice them. To habitually practice it. So that you come out of that dark way into this partially illuminated by the reflection from the moon out into the daytime where you can tell what's going on. But anytime you step into that hole off the pit, something you're going to reap what you sow. Okay? Instead, love God and love your fellow human beings like yourself. As yourself, like this little kitty, okay? All right? Have a wonderful day. Please hit like and subscribe and help support the, uh, what I'm doing here. And just let's lift God up. Let's keep this revival. Let God revive you out of that dark state to this reflected, partially lit state. And keep going. Let the day star rise in your heart. And let it boil off all those impurities. All that darkness from out of your mind. From out of your heart. Those thought processes bringing you into God's right thinking. Where you're walking in obedience. In God's loving righteous ways. God's ways is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen.